we have many thousands of proportional drawings. This is a practice that started well into the 15th century. We know that already uh, Piero della Francesca, Mantegna, and many others uh, artists of the 15th century started to uh, measure the proportions of uh, classical statues, trying to find uh, in the physical remains of classical antiquity those theoretical principles that they had read in Vitruvius, uh, but also in Quintilian, in uh, Philus Mechanicus, etc., etc., but especially in vitru. This was made in 1770 by one of the most famous British sculptors of the second half of the 18th century, Joseph Nollekens, who was in Rome on his grand tour in, uh, uh, in the 1770s. This is a typical proportional drawing of uh, the Capitoline Antinus. This statue was discovered in the 18th century, so it's a new acquisition into the canon of classical statuary. What Nolleken is trying to do is to get exact measurement of a statue. So they are very much inter interested in structure rather than anything else. So what you see here, in fact, are the typical characteristic of proportional drawing. First of all, most of them are initially metal point, then pencil, and very often at the end, over the pencil, the artist would have uh, gone with pen and ink, exactly as in this case. So proportional drawings never use chalk, red chalk or, or brown, or red chalk or black chalk or wash, because what they're really interested in is the outline drawing. If you look at this drawing, there's no indication whatsoever about uh, modeling or tonal passages. The muscles are just outlined. What is really important is the overall outline of the sculpture. Very often they are parallel to the picture plane. You don't need any dynamic or expressive uh, 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 detail. The other thing which is fascinating is this jungle of numbers that you see superimposed in pen to the actual figure. So what Nolikens is doing is deriving uh, a method of uh, learning how to represent the proportions of classical statues from the most famous book on uh, uh, proportions of classical statues published by Gerard Audran in 1682 within the context of the French Academy. Once you have your set of proportional information, whether you're a painter or a sculptor, you can then transfer the same idealized proportion to your own composition. So this is actually a very important uh, learning.